Willkommen. Ich bin hier in Berlin. Uh, it's 2017. If you've been watching my videos, uh, last year I found a World War II helmet, um, which I believe to be Soviet from the information that I received from all the nice comments on my videos. Uh, it's, as you can see, pretty thick with rust, and I've been wanting to clean it up. When I first found it, I'm new to this, so I don't really know what the best method is. I tried just a abrasive metal brush, and I was able to get quite a bit of the rust off, but it, it was damaging the helmet, and it just wasn't working. So, step two, I did a little research. Uh, my brother-in-law and I are attempting to do some electrolysis. Currently, we're running at about 15 volts. Uh, this is a 10 amp machine. Uh, we've got a solution of water and salt. Um, this is a rusty nail that we put in there as a test run, uh, as we've never done this before. And as you can see, uh, the water is just turning orange, green, and that rust is just bubbling right off that nail. It's working fantastic. Uh, we gotta find a bigger bucket. If this comes out good, we're gonna do the helmet next. Well, as you can see, I've upgraded my bin here to accommodate for the size of the helmet. Um, I've cranked up the voltage to 25 volts, it's 10 amps. When I started, the water was fairly clear. It's actually river water, so it wasn't perfectly clear, but you could see the helmet and down at the bottom, and as you can see now, it's just orange with rust that's coming off that helmet. You can see here where the negative end is connected to the helmet. It's just bubbling up all that iron oxidation. It's coming right off beautifully. Let's hope it turns out nice and clean when I'm finished. Alright, so here I am on the third bath with this World War II helmet that I found. Um, I probably could have done it all, um, you know, just left it in there a good six hours, but of course I'm at my mother-in-law's house here, so I have to be respectful. I can't just leave this sitting here like this for all day when we leave the house and whatnot, so I'm actually, I've broken it down into three parts. Uh, basically the setup, of course, is the positive charge is connected to this metal spring. The negative connected to my relic, my World War II helmet that was coated with thick rust. Uh, basically the electrolysis process, what it's doing is reversing the rusting of the helmet and the spring where the con uh, positive connection is, is actually taking all of that corrosion onto itself. Um, you can see the part of the spring that I don't leave in the water is actually still pristine. Now this entire spring was clean as can be when I put it in. Um, and you can see here at the bottom, this little loop is already corroded. There's hardly anything left of it. And it, when I started, it was the same as the top, you know. It was just a thick spring, and it's just taking on all of the corrosion from that helmet. It's really quite an amazing process. One thing I do want to mention is you'll notice my alligator clip I have out of the water on the positive end. Um, I do have it a bit in the water here on the relic, but I'm careful not to let the positive end in the water because it will corrode the alligator clip just as much as it will corrode the spring, the metal that I have in there. So you do want to be careful with that um, while you're doing this, but otherwise, yeah, this is working great. So I'm going to continue this process and once I get it out of there, I'm going to do some photography and get some nice photos of before and after and uh, we can discuss how it looks. And